Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Nokia 6 versus the Samsung Galaxy S8. I want to see how much of a speed difference there is between the mid-range, the super budget-friendly Nokia 6 versus the flagship phone from Samsung, the Galaxy S8. So I'm just going to quickly boot up both devices at the same time, 3, 2, 1, go, and both ones are on Android 7.0 Nougat. And uh, you can see the size difference difference between these two phones. Nokia 6 being 5.5 inch with the display size and still it's like almost like a little bit bigger in terms of the height. And uh, you can see the Galaxy S8 obviously you can expect it to be faster in terms of booting up. It is faster pretty much in comparison to any phone that I've tested out so and the Nokia 6 is now done so uh, you can see the difference between the boot up and obviously this is a $250 phone and this will be potentially $750 to $800 phone so yeah moving on to the apps opening so same Wi-Fi network on both devices and everything is closed up in the background uh, we have 4 gigs of RAM on the Nokia 6 as well as 4 gigs of RAM on the S8, uh, Snapdragon 808 on the Nokia 6 versus the Exynos 8895 processor. So again, it's going to be a very unfair test for the Nokia, but like I said, I'm just testing out how much of a speed difference there is, how much you're actually paying for uh, if you go for the S8. Uh, so, I mean... This is, this is going to be a really interesting test. Uh, starting off with the first basic phone dollar application, 3, 2, 1, go. And faster on the Galaxy S8. Next, we got settings. And that was about the same on both phones. Let's see if we go back and try out some third-party stuff. So we have Instagram. Launching in three, two, one, go. Okay. The Nokia 6 was faster there with the latest feed, followed by the Galaxy S8. Next, we have a game, Gunfu, Stickman Do. And of course, this is where the S8 will fly, but you can see the difference about one second difference there. We got color switch. Samsung Galaxy S8 done, and again about one two second difference. Uh, the Nokia 6 was right behind. Let's see, we have Subway Surfers. Okay, the display looks absolute beautiful, absolutely beautiful on the uh, on the Galaxy S8. Of course, that's the main attraction. You can see S8 just flies through Subway Surfer and that was a long difference in terms of the time loading so you can see whoa that was awfully long time there snapchat and I think a bit quicker on the Galaxy S8 again you guys are the judge here going into the app drawer um, the, the Nokia 6 is having like completely like almost stock Android almost zero bloatware so that's a good thing uh, we have tinder faster on the Samsung Galaxy S8 checking out Viber gain Samsung Galaxy S8 but the difference is in front of you we got some more stuff such as Uber, Galaxy S8, Twitter. We have another game smash hit. And you can see the Galaxy S8 is done and the Nokia 6 is also done. So about five second difference approximate. So yeah, overall, uh, you can see the difference there. The S8, of course, you pay more, you get the best speed. 
uh, but for those of you who are currently having the Nokia 6, I won't say that it's like a slow phone by any means, like, I mean, it's holding up great, like, it's not s lagging or anything like that. So lastly, we'll be opening up the camera, okay, let's uh, go, and Galaxy S8 done, followed by Nokia 6. So um, that is the completion of our apps opening, moving on towards the browser test. All right, first off, we have wikipedia.com.org. And uh, as you can see, uh, the Nokia 6 is done faster there, followed by the Samsung Galaxy S8. So that was a great win there. Uh, actually, the first win, not the first, second win uh, to the goes to the Nokia 6. And uh, scrolling and everything looks smooth on both phones. Same thing with zooming in and out. You can see you won't be uh, having any lag on uh, on that. Let's launch Facebook.com. And that is also faster on the Nokia 6 followed by the Galaxy S8. So a clean win there when it comes to the browser. And, uh, you know, that was that was pretty interesting and very unexpected so checking out the ram management on both devices so uh, i'm really impressed with the samsung galaxy s8 it has proved its uh, worth in the speed tests uh that i did with different devices different phones um but nokia 6 you can see keeping everything there i mean four gigs of ram like i said it's uh super enough for having that amazing RAM management experience you can see everything is still there snapchat tinder okay tinder got refresh on the nokia 6 so you can see viber that is still there so one refresh not super perfect okay second refresh there nokia 6 with the two refreshes Twitter, that is there, and Smash Hit, also got refresh. So Nokia 6, even with 4 gigs of RAM, not truly perfect. Um, I expected it to be perfect. Like, I mean, Samsung mid-range phones that have 4 gigs of RAM has a great, uh, you know, RAM measurement. But again, I will be doing some more tests uh, of this phone. But right now, it's looking that it is, it is not truly good with the RAM measurement. Uh, but yeah, it was a test to show you guys how much of a difference there is between a $250 Nokia 6 and a $750 Samsung Galaxy S8. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.